Okay guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. It's been a while, hasn't it? And we've already got stuff to do. So, I haven't made a video for quite some time. But a few things have changed in the zoo since um, we were last here. Just finished our reset. Oh no. Why? Why are all the animals starting to die? It's only been eight years. Oh. Okay. Taking the opportunity to get a few more females because um, while I was uh, while I was not recording any of this, I did get the flamingo habitat done. So the flamingos are in the zoo, hence why I've just gotten three more females, and which is why you can see three big umbrellas here. So this area will be flamboyant with flamingos eventually. But for now, that is all we have right now. And, oh, that doesn't look good. I have also added the butterflies. Oh, that. That looks cool. Never seen the animation, really. Diego. Um, how many cappies have we got? Oh, doesn't look like we've got too many. Are you going to... Couple more in the bank. There we go. Alejandro. Okay. Oh, jeez. Two died. Um. Hi, Dad. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, okay. So. How many adults have. Oh. Three. I mean, I'm probably going to do a new capybara exhibit at some point and put in a bunch of other animals like giant anteaters, tapirs. We'll do a full South American section at some point. Like we'll just carry over the the herd to that enclosure once we've gone to it. That's the next big thing. It's a South America section. Which I'll try and put a, enough detail in to be satisfying to the eyes. And um so, I'm honestly so proud of this habitat. This seal habitat looks fantastic. I didn't, I mean, it's not over the top. I mean, it's a little on my, on my part, um, but it's pretty good. I love seeing the seal swim around. It's really cool to watch. Oh, look at him. Um, yeah, I think we only need like the three grey seals and the four California sea lions in here. I do love seeing them just zip around. Like, look how fast they swim. It's so cool. Like, the seals are probably one of my favourite animals in the game. Both of them. Because they're so dynamic in how they swim and what they do. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wait, that's the buoy. Um. I don't know if any of them... Oh... February. Any that are coming sooner? July. What about grey seals? January. Um, so we've got a few baby seals on the way. And I did notice that we've got a baby otter. Hello. Little fuzzball. <laughs> All the owls just running around. There's one in the water. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the aquatic area, I'm honestly really proud of it. It is almost done. Oh, damn it, this is something I forgot to do. I forgot to, like, get bins and benches that suit the area to be placed in. Need to fit the theme. Yeah. That is one thing I did forget to do, but... Um, also just cover this up. So, now that we've researched the actual aquatic theme, I believe I could just finish this in a matter of minutes. Oh, ooh, Adina! Adina has grown up. Oh, look at the wallabies hop around. That one looks oddly dark for a wallaby. 
It's just me. I don't know. Oh, orange and black. Okay. I wonder if that's meant to be like Bennett's Wallaby. Oh, look at the little kangaroos. Oh, the emu. Airholes is running around following the keeper. That's the classic redneck wallaby that I know. Um, that one, not so much. It almost looks like a swamp wallaby, this one. Oh, it, and the screen goes black. Yeah, I, I do love this habitat too. I do kind of want to put koalas in and just go full on Australia with it. Oh, we've got wombats in here. With wallabies, with kangaroos, and emus. Like, how much more can you get? Man? It's craziness. Oh, wombats are coming out just to eat. And drink. Yeah. This is madness. Yeah, it's, it, I love this habitat. Oh, oh! <laughs> Interacting with the curio ball there. Is there any other wombats in there? Inua. She's still sleeping underground. Like the first wombat's out. Oh, I love the zoo. But what is our goal for this episode? Uh, don't have a clear one in mind. But I think we should start on the next section. So the South America section. So, what I was thinking is it comes off from here. Like, the giant otters, I would have loved to have been part of it. Like, they are... You know what? They technically will be. It will come off from here. I'm doing this off the cuff, really. We will do it in a sort of fashion. Like this. Um, so, overpath right now um, come down to the forest floor come round this habitat and go here I'll just have that like that go through like this come out to this to the Pantanal habitat. So, basically, an open area for the cappies, the tapirs, and even the maned wolves will get a part in this. So, bring a bit here. There we go. Oy. There we go. Um, and I kind of want to do a few jaguar overpasses too. It's like jaguar comes through here, like one bit is here. Like the whole habitat could go right around, just be a big jaguar territory. Could have four jaguars, all sharing um the area. So we have a split of two habitats. One that's really jungle, and one that's um, open wetland. I think that would be a cool idea. So I've got the base layout um, coming out. So got the otters there, and we might actually put caiman here. So caiman is the subject of this video. So we'll get the habitat gate in. Which caiman in particular? I was thinking perhaps the Actually, you know what? Let's actually get both of them. Get both the Cuviers and the Spectacle Cayman. I think it would actually look really cool to have all have both of them. In. Um, how am I going to do this? Maybe we bring up a bit of land. Pour them. They have a little river sort of thing to go around have a bit of land for the spectral caiman more than for the cuviers um sort of split their habitats up with a bridge here um 
yeah, I'm doing all this off the cuff. So Spectacle came in as there would be more of them in the one habitat, would have more land space and more water space. So I'll bring the path along here. This will be the other connection point. Centered around the Cayman. And we will bring this here. So these will be the park's first crocodilians. Um, might move these just slightly. So, how's the power looking? Power still works. Um, because I was, I think I might just give it a little bit more land for the, um, QVS to utilize. Yeah, so this is what I love about Plan Zoo. You, just, you can just design something out of thin air. Okay, QVS will have a bit of land space, so the actual habitat gate will be here. There we go. Oh, whoops, what happened there? There. Um, we will put that there. Oh, so can't change it. <laughs> All right, got that sorted. Um, no, they're not really going to be able to get out, really. You know, so I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Having like an individual, an invisible fence here. Because they're not going to get out. How can they? So, bring that along. Concrete. I'll make that like tropical rock. Um. Have it go there, and go here. Big long window. Uh, there we go. Alright, we are on our start. Oh, this is actually going to look so sick. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of my favorites now. Having um, a bit of like glass viewing going right around. There we go. Alrighty. There we are. Uh, okay. Up deep. Rise that up. Uh, I'll only raise this bit. Actually, now that I think about it. Raise that to four. Um. Visible fence. Um. Still don't know why we have, why there's a visible barrier. Like, when you're placing it. Oh, I mean, why are you when you're placing it, it makes sense, actually. Okay. <laughs> That's just a little nitpick as to why this is an invisible fence when you can see it in management mode. Um, but as, as you can tell, I did not think that through. So I'm making a little nitpick for absolutely no reason. Oh, look at that. That looks sweet. Um... So we've got that. A nice big 
area. So I have varying depths in some areas. For I, I keep saying some areas so much. Like I need to think of something else to say. Different spots. And we'll smooth it out to make it look a bit more natural. And not so rigid. Oh, that. Um. So, we got that there. Um. Get the rocks in. So, we'll do faux rocks. Because they are best kind of rock in the game. The natural rocks are good, but like these ones are more dynamic. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna try and make this quicker so I don't have to go through and make it a speed build. Um... We will get to an African section at some point. I did remember that actually southern white rhinos. I was about to say Sumatran rhinos. We don't have those. Um, southern white rhinos. They can be bought for coin in franchise mode. So what I said in I think one of the earliest episodes. When I said we weren't going to get the more famous animals for a long while. I could get a southern white rhino right now, and wouldn't think second of it, but I didn't, and they will come in time. Good thing we've got so much money to to use here to um, build a whole new area of the zoo. Right, we're going to be rich with this zoo. <laughs> In conservation credits and in actual money. I've already got 95,000. Uh, almost complete with the wall. There we go. That area is done for the rocks. I mean, using the same rock can help, especially with random rotation, because it can just change. There we go. Uh, over here. And we're all good here. That is the spectacle came and done with the barrier. Or oh, almost actually. Because I did it on one side, might as well do it on the other. It would be cool to have, like, um, I saw in a YouTube video that a zoo in America, uh, or what, well, which one was it? I think it was Omaha, Omaha Henry Dorley Zoos, or the zoo, it's only one zoo, um, at least I think it is, um, it has a sea lion exhibit with very naturalistic um, Pacific Northwest rock, um, rock work, and I looked at that, and I was just like, oh, that is so cool, we definitely need that in Plant Zoo, like, that would be so good to get, more, more faux rocks, but to have a more naturalistic look, to look like the Pacific Northwest, or just the wild in general, that would be awesome. Great to get that at some point. I change the rocks again. Uh, there we go. Oh, whoops. And there we go. Boom. Um. Okay. Oh, what's happening here? Why is it obstructed? Oh, it's because of the path. Ah. Uh. 
get that through. Oh, whoops. Okay, path thing having a glitch. Um, yeah, I don't know why that happens. That little path problem. But it does. Uh, alright. Yeah, that looks good. How long have we been going for right now? Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, jeez. Um, I love how this goes back to back. Oh, I love it. Make the, make the process easier. Copy one section of wall. Uh, bring it along. I'll put that on zero so I can get the angles right. Um. Yeah, almost there. Um. Yep, there we go. And just get this little block of um, rocks to sort of make it fit. There we are. And there. Uh, yeah. And put it on this side too. Almost there. There we go. Might just delete that too. And that. Now it doesn't look awkward. Might just fill that bit in, but as pretty much the two Cayman habitats completely boarded. Yep. Now we gotta finish the water. There we are. So both Cayman habitats have got a lot of space, and as they're both tropical animals, um, I think it does have the land without any cooling or anything like that. Oh, whoops. Let me do that. Uh, there. Alright. Um, might just get the caiman in to finish off the habitat. Um, and get all the items in. So... Cuviers, Dwarf, ah, everything but the Cayman. Andre, oh he's big. Big for a Dwarf Cayman. And little female. Put them in. Like, we'll just get them in. Like, um, while I do, while they're being delivered, I will set up their staff area. Which will be over here. Oh, I still haven't researched the bigger... Um, still haven't researched the far larger um, staff centers and, and stuff. Alright. Yeah. Looking good so far. Get that. Uh. All right. Bring that along there. This is going to take a lot of connecting. And Trade Center, because... Need to make the job easier. Oh, bugger. Hate when the game does that. They're very annoying. There we are. Almost there. Uh, 
Alright. I just think it got pretty meh every now and then, but that's just the process. I could edit this bit out. But, um. I mean, you'd like to see the process of something come together. At least I hope you do. Uh, oh, we got seals. Baby seals. Uh, where's... There we go. There's the ones that grew up. All the ones that grew up. You haven't grown up. You have, though. And release all them. How much do we get? 85. Um, where are you? What do you... What do you mean? Oh, sh... Bugger. Spread with the... Uh, messy. That's messy stuff. Um... Okay, here's the Cayman. Oh wow, they're actually bigger than I thought. Unless that's just the male. Male is huge. Absolutely ginormous. For a rainforest animal, I'm surprised how much grass they need. <clears throat> and now for the spectacles. Ah, oh, where are you? Um, hmm. I mean, I wish these videos... Focusing on plants who eat, focusing on plants who could be more lively, like the Jurassic World Evolution 2 ones, but just when there's not stuff, not much stuff happening, it's hard to keep that up. But, um, we make do. We make do. Um, okay. Set up the work zone for South America. And that can include these and this. So South um oh, South America. There we go. Um Ooh. Well I'll put some keepers down to access it just so that that notification can be taken care of. And the mechanics as well. This is all I need so far. Add these guys to the work zone. And boom. That should be that problem taken care of. The spectacle camera on their way. Guests are already coming in. 50. Go up to 50 for it. So, they've got to cross the whole zoo pretty much just to get to the... Oh, we've only got a regular speed. Get it faster. Here they come. Yeah, much bigger caiman. Don't worry, this habitat will fill up. Trust me. Lots of babies will be born. Need grass. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> And some rock. I'll try and hide that rock a bit more. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Put the sand back. Yeah. Now it looks better. They're running. Into the water they go. Now we will... Con so this the video doesn't go on for too long. Just coming up to the 30 minute mark now. Um, we will probably end it here. We have started a new area, and I hope for it to continue. Like, it would be great to do another whole area of the zoo and make it its own. Just like with the um, aquatic area, it is all of its own. Like, it's not like a copy-paste sort of thing. It is unique in the zoo doesn't look like anything else in the zoo. I will just remove these so I can change the colour. 
of these rocks. And there we go. And actual body color for the rock. What do we want? Make it, oh yeah, that's good, I like that. Okay, so we'll end it here. Um, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Um, yeah, bye-bye.